okay guys so I'm all done for now for my closet it's not all hopeified <laughs> I think that's the name I came up with the other day when I was talking to my husband so I don't have it the way I really really want it I actually want it in two different ways so I want to get built in that would be probably the last thing and then I the other thing that I want to do um, before I get the built-ins is I want to different touches here and there and I'll point those out and show you guys that I can still have for the built-ins but right now I'm just trying to do this on a budget I'm not trying to just go out and purchase stuff just to complete this project at this moment like you know if you're in the YouTube world, you all know about that life. You spend money just to make a space look like a certain way. And you may not necessarily, you may, you may. But um, that really wasn't on your agenda, if that makes sense. So for me, this wasn't on my agenda right now. Trying to save for something. And so I wanted this done. So this is how it's done without me buying a whole lot of extra stuff I did buy a couple of things but I'm gonna leave it like this share with you what I did and I actually threw away three to four bags of clothes that was even yeah and that was after um, I posted a long time ago probably a year ago year and a half ago I threw away a lot of clothes when I lost weight some of them I still did not let go and I should have because I can wear them they're a little big but I can wear them now because I regained some weight but once I drop this weight which I'm gonna drop this weight we're gonna get a whole new wardrobe so I decluttered a lot now you can see my floor you can see my floor so one thing I want to do in here is uh, I want a rug and I seen a rug that I want at Marshall's and I know it won't be there forever so if it's there when I go back I will get it I don't have a ton of room in here but I think it'll be really cute now I'm using these little rugs I really don't need a rug in here these little rugs that I was gonna put in my bathroom they were like in a set I think I did haul it and show you guys it was like a curtain set like it's like a blush pink it came with a shower curtain and it came with these little hooks and these hooks the reason why I didn't put it up because these hooks don't work in my rod in my bathroom that's too wide and so I never put up the whole set so I just pulled this out and put it in here and the other one is like in my little entryway I got on my jamas y'all I got on my jamas like Saya so say because I just got the shower and I finished working out so over here I had this for a minute now and it holds my um, let's see I don't know how that's gonna show up for y'all so let me turn it the right way my shoes I did get rid of quite many shoes but I'm surprised I didn't have more I probably have about six pairs downstairs but I'm not a big shoe person anymore I used to be so I don't have a lot and what I usually do is I wear like the same pairs, those five that I have downstairs all the time unless I'm going somewhere. I got this from shoe, I'm sorry, not shoe department, from Home Depot. And I want to get one more to stack on top of it. And I believe it was $30, y'all, but I don't remember. And then I have like some, those fake Ugg boots over there, which I probably will get rid of because I really don't really wear those. So I needed something else. This was actually my craft room and before that it was actually in my linen closet and I was going to spray paint it and put my silhouette or if I buy a Cricut which I want to get one I was going to put it on here. I saw a really cute post on Instagram where she spray painted it and then she put like the plywood on it. So anyway. It was in the hallway, it was in the way, it was downstairs, and I brought it in here to help get some of this stuff. I had it's like shoes lined up off the floor, and I just think it looks better. So I wanted this row here. Uh, I wanted something for my gym clothes, and I wanted something for my pajamas. So this is not all my pajamas. Some of them are in the wash. These are not all my gym clothes or raggedy, um, what are they called? 
Um, some of them are gym clothes and some of them are just like around the house clothes. Some of them might be my paint clothes too. And then right here I have my footies. So I really wanted to make everything where I can come and know exactly where my stuff was at. Because a lot of times I was rebuying a lot of things and I already had it. So those are some of my footies. I'm sure I have more. But I have like a big bag of socks I need to go through. Speaking of socks, I have this organizer I got from Aldi, I think, last year. And I just have like some new socks. I bought like some new black and white socks. And some of those socks I just may have had on just to work out. And then I took them off because I like to walk barefooted. Or to go pick or take someone to school or whatever it may have been. And they weren't dirty at all. And so I put them back in there, rolled them up. And my boys, everybody, they go, everybody's wearing everybody's socks. The good thing about being a girl is that after a while, everybody's feet are too large and they can't wear your socks, but that's why I have them in here. So I do have a big bag of socks that I need to put the mates together, roll them up, and it's just going to be a task all by itself. This is certainly not going to stay this way, guys. I picked these bins up from the Dollar Tree. I had them in the clear shoe container from the Dollar Tree, but I took them out. These are all my wallets and stuff, and I don't like how it's leaning like that. It just irks me, but um, that's just how I have it right now. So that's all my wallets. I know where they are, and then in this bin here, I have like my eyeglass cleaner wipes. Yeah, cloths, I should say. And then the eyeglass holder, my glasses holder, and some keychains. So, lots of keychains. I picked these up a while ago from the Dollar Tree. And I have more keychains in my craft room for planner supplies. Or to, you can use them for your planners. I put all of my um, travel bags together so I can easily find them. It was a chore when we went to Vegas and the mountains and stuff like that i just want to be able to find my stuff really easily and then i put like the luggage scale in here or yeah luggage scale lower luggage scale and then some luggage tags that i got from the dollar tree and stuff i got a new one from go mining coco so i had to put that in here and then like the boys have one too and then I have like some bags that wouldn't fit in there, back there. Over here, y'all, I have my wigs on top of this rolling cart. And the rolling cart was from Michaels and I had it for a while now. It had like planner supplies and stuff on it. And I had, a, I have a little vanity table in my, beside my bed on my side of the room. And I had this beside it. So I decided to bring it in here to kind of make that area look less clutter. Um, it's make as soon as I put something on that desk, it looks cluttered. And then having this beside it to just make I just wanted to look clean over there. So what I have in here, if you want to know, starting at the top, I have like my headbands because I kind of wear the same headpiece. Being lazy, um, knowing I know how to do some hair, and then I have like my little hair bun that I put on my head and then I have like bobby pins and then I have like a extra brush for like baby hair and stuff like that and then I have a bunch of these ties so I just find a hair band and throw it in there and this is just some extra lip balms and stuff like that these dividers came from Dollar Tree a lot of the stuff I still need to purge I did purge some of it some makeup I need to throw away this Mary Kay thing I have forever when well, my mom used to sell it and this is my little scissor holder when I was in cosmetology school so I probably will keep it looks terrible the lint and stuff it looks worse in person but I will keep it forever and ever and then I need to label this with like my labeler but this is all of my stuff that I will put in my pocketbook that I need to refresh so I thought this was a really good idea so I don't have to keep searching through different drawers or looking I used to keep some of the stuff in my nightstand but I thought this would be really neat to just have everything together I can grab so many times I'm like I need a refreshing 
my purse with tissues or lotion or sanitizer and this way I can just come and grab it in this drawer y'all it's like travel stuff so we don't travel a whole lot but we plan on to or plan on to that is so country but I don't y'all anyway but we plan on traveling but anyway I just thought I would make this drawer that I can just grab my stuff even if I'm going to visit family go to Winston or wherever and I got all my stuff there then I have like some extra deodorants I like to buy like the twin pack at one time so I can have an extra one and then I have like um, some of the Dollar Tree spray and then this is travel too some of them I haven't used actually one of these I need to take downstairs for salad dressing I haven't used it I think I used that one and um yeah, this is travel too. Shower caps, stuff like that. I need to straighten it better than that. Then these are just a bunch of wipes. And I try not to pick up these boleros. I like them as much because I tend to forget about them and don't use them. I like them, but I just don't use them. I picked these up when we were traveling. So if we were sweating or something. Um, I haven't used these quite too much, but... And then these are some makeup wipes. I bought way too many. And something's getting caught on something. And this is just a mod podge of stuff. So I kept this to like clean makeup brushes and stuff. It's a first aid kit. Um, a linear from work. And this need to go in the bottom drawer in my closet. Not closet, in my um, bathroom and some facial cleanser so that is it y'all I'm gonna talk about my wigs what I want to do with those in one second but for right now since I'm on the floor I have this little basket and you guys really like this I guess I pull it out because it's kind of dark over there all I did was I put my flip-flops in this basket it was just an extra basket that I had and um, I think I took one or two pair out of here since then and if I don't wear them then I'm gonna toss them yeah even though the summer season is about to come to an end but i don't know i still have a lot of time so like these are brand new and i had them for over five years but when i was heavier i couldn't wear super super flat shoes it would hurt which i know it sounds crazy but if you know about that life you do you know that these shoes are a little bit um, when they're super super flat and they don't have an arch it can be uncomfortable so I can wear them now but I just haven't wore them in a while so if I don't then I will toss them and then like the cheap cheap ones like the Old Navy ones they're not the most comfortable but they're good to have on hand like especially if you have a clean pair for cleaning around the house I like to use those for that um, like you're mopping or something you don't want to track up the floor anyway this basket I don't remember guys where it came from I don't remember but anyway put them in there okay so I am a purse girl a handbag girl I got it from my mama probably from my grandma too and I have I actually had a video where I shared a lot of things but I don't know if I still have all of that footage and I was just showing what I had kind of like my purse collection so if you want to see that, let me know and I'll see if I can find it. But these are just all my little bags. Some of them I did toss because they're just like these little Etsy, Etsy bags and stuff. Um, these over here are like my tablet bags and stuff like that. And then these were like, what are these called? Dust covers from some of the bags that I got like Coach and stuff. And then these are just like travel bags. These came from AC Moore. So you know how AC Moore always has those tote overnighter bags. And then here is um, a bag I got from Shoe Show years ago. So a couple more travel bags are in here. And then this peel thing. This needs to go in my purse thing. That'll be easier. And then that's it, y'all. This bin was $16. I think I just took the tag off the price yesterday. $16 so I probably still need to purge some of these but I love my bags well let me show you guys this bag 
let's see I got this from the state fair years ago and they embroidered my name on it I don't remember the name of the company I'll look and see if it's on the inside but I have, I'm surprised I haven't used it oh that must be the name of the company if you can see it but I had this a long long time probably over 10 years and barely used it over here guys I know it's dark um, this is my memory box so after a while I'm gonna need a new one and this has like um, some keepsakes of the boys but not a whole lot um, some of them most of the stuff is like cards and stuff Mother's Day cards from the boys and birthday cards and like love letters that Jason wrote me when he used to write me so stuff like that that's what's in there but I'm gonna need a new one and like right there where I'm pointing if you can see it's a balloon and that balloon is Josiah's balloon for at his baby shower okay y'all let me speed this up so I have like some wigs and stuff under here and what I want to do is I want to get a floating shelf two floating shelves and I want to purchase those mannequin heads and I want to put them in here I always like wonder if my husband is like she just throw them wigs <laughs> anywhere but I don't with him he's not really particular so he's like huh whatever you know it don't bother him but yeah that's what I want to do is put some mannequin heads up here get some floating shelves from somewhere and um, Target, I think, has some. I'm sure Ikea does. And put them up there. And I'll probably order the styrofoam mannequin heads from like Amazon or something like that. They may have them at the big beauty supply store. I have to check that out. Okay, so let's see. Since I'm talking about this wall over here, I do have a little bit of space in that corner over there. But right now, I have like my hair dryer and my CPAP machine over there in the corner. I don't use my hair dryer a whole lot anymore. I usually just let my hair air dry. But when I wear it short, I need to use it all the time. So this six nine cube nine cube organizer is out of Josiah's room. I actually want a white one. And I had a bunch of purses. I did purge a little bit of some some of them, but when I heard that Charmin Charlie's was going out of business. I held on to some of them. So, I don't quite like the look of it, but on camera, it looks a little bit messier than it is in person. If that makes sense. So, anyway, I want this to be white or a lighter color than this. I don't feel like painting it right now, but what I'll probably do is give this back to Josiah and buy me a white one. Um, I don't mind painting something, but I think that's just what I'll do. And he wasn't really using his. He had like a lot of baby stuff. And I need to redo his room too. So starting over here, I got this little tray thing. A majig uh, or bowl from Charm and Charlie's. They're selling their fixtures. And you guys should really check it out. Because if you have a craft room or a closet large enough to put some of those um, big fixtures. Where they put the purses and display the stuff. That would be so awesome to use their stuff i think they were like 125 some of the big ones the white ones but anyway i got this for three dollars and um i'm going to spray paint it just don't feel like it right now so i'm going to spray paint it um i'm actually going to not leave my glasses in here it's one that i want on amazon bar and then these are like my first prescription shades they're kind of scratched up so i'm going to go back and i'm going to get some of their fixtures the, the bracelet holders they are I think they're 10 or 15 dollars y'all and I'm gonna spray paint that or either fix it up somehow I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna get that because I need more bracelet holders as you see over here I don't buy a whole lot of jewelry but this is just what I had and it may look like a lot but I don't I really don't I used to sell Avon and then what else I used to do um sell jewels by part lane so that's why I have some and some of it I have still in here and I have to pull it out it's over there in the corner but anyway then the necklaces and stuff Charm and Charlie's is selling the 
they're selling the necklace holders too and I want to go back and get two of those and I think she told me they were two for ten if I remember so that's why I have all my bracelets and extra stuff that I'm not throwing away in there and then I put um, some of my rings and stuff over here and this was a little bit too small and I got this from Michaels and I used a coupon so some stuff I did toss because it was tarnished and changing colors and then this is all like my phone cases and stuff like that little holders for cords um, if I'm working out put that on my arm a extra pop socket I forgot I had it because I just had it thrown somewhere I think I got it for Black Friday and then like an extra car adapter and then I have these just up here these little pom-pom things that go in your purse I recently picked these bins up like I said before y'all and I have my gloves in there I use these all the time with the bus I would not I will come all the way back home to get them because that stern will be so cold in the mornings in the winter but I think I have a couple of more that are just mixed in with all those socks that I have to sort through. So I want to be able to find my stuff really quickly. I don't know if I'm going to keep my hats in here. I just have a couple of hats. And these are kind of flimsy so I may get something better later. And then my hats that I of course used when I used to drive the school bus and stuff like that. Um, it was a necessity. But I want to be able to find my stuff like really really quickly. I don't necessarily like the um, my the look of my bags up there, but it's okay. They're off the floor. I'd rather have the stuff off the floor because that's where all the mess comes into play. My little my luggage bags up there, and then up here, of course, I will not keep this like this. I'm looking at something on Amazon to display these a little bit better or hang them a little bit better. But I kept my Michael Kors bag. Um, on purpose and especially this one because this is the first one Jason bought me a anniversary gift I think it was this one this one he said I hope you got two hundred dollars and he just couldn't believe how much some purses cost and um, we were at Crabtree and I kept that bag forever and ever it's been a while it's been over five years but anyway um, I won't keep it up here because it takes up a lot of space and I can put something else up there but I like the way it looks over here y'all I have my scarves and stuff I don't wear my scarves all the time only if it's like really cold or like this one is probably one I wear all the time because it goes with a shirt and maybe another one and then my hangers they are joy joy mangano huggable hangers I think she was the original person that came out with the velvet hangers and um, now they have so many other dupes but I should have got all black from the gate I don't know what I was thinking I guess I wanted a peach or a pink blush um, closet I don't know so that kind of tells you how much stuff that I purged because I have all those um, hangers <clears throat> and then I have some hangers over there excuse me and then over here I had some more tote bags I was tired of them sitting in the room so I was like you know what I can use those shower hooks and hang the bags on here too over here are like my um, gym bags I did throw away one of them because it had like some marks and stuff on it and then this is um Cottrell's school a and t so i'm gonna keep that one i actually have two we got there to orientation this bag i probably will toss is a just fab bag and it's like huge huge and kind of stiff and then these some tote bags a target one spot bag this the beach bag and then this bag i really don't carry it but Jason bought me this one too. It's Steve Madden. So I won't throw it away. So I try to hold on to stuff that he buy me. And then um, I have all my pants. I have some shorts here. Which I don't wear shorts a lot. I just don't. I don't know why but I just don't. And then um, my pants. Some trousers. Some jeggings. Jeggings more so over here. Um, some shirts. I want to color code it but I don't know we'll see I tried that one time and then some dresses and then my church dresses over here in the corner and then all of these are like my um, sweaters and big coats right here and then these are like my robes so I can throw them on if I need to go to I haven't had to go to the bus stop in a while y'all 
So, actually, I'll be taking Sai to school because he's so close to us. But that is it, y'all. That is it. So, it's not exactly. It looks so much better. And I feel so much better when I come in here. Now, I can find my stuff. But I still have more stuff. I have, like, socks to go through. I have a dresser right here. And then um, that I have to go through and purge some stuff in there, too. So, yeah, everything is not in my closet. And then I have a lot of planner bags and stuff, but I keep that in my craft room and stuff like that. So, guys, I hope you get some ideas or some tips from this video. Sorry it was shaky and stuff like that. Um, but I will come back with another video, of course, if I ever get a built-in, get built-ins and stuff. But I will come back with another video after I hope you fire it up. Like, put, like, some little decor in here some pictures get my little shelf my mannequin heads um get my storage and my hangers and stuff together but it looks so much better i've been wanting to do this for so so long it's ridiculous but thanks so much guys for watching bye bye